So I've got this exhaust manifold that, you know, when you lay a straight edge across it, it seems to have a little warpage, quite a bit of rust, but I want to use it as a test to kind of see if it will auto feed the full length of the table, things like that. So really what I need to do is machine some standoffs to go from here to the table that are all exactly the same size. I mean, you know, maybe put two here, put two here. But I don't really want to do that, so I've got some chunks of aluminum, which I know they're not the, you know, it's not what you should be using for this, but this is a manifold that will probably never get used again. It's a quantum turbo diesel manifold layout, Volkswagen. It's kind of obscure, can't go in a Jetta or a Rabbit, and not many people use quantum, so we're going to set this thing up and see just what it sounds like with the grinding wheel skipping across all these surfaces automatically I have a feeling it's gonna sound pretty cool so to get this exhaust manifold bolted down required some fairly intricate work holding and it's this is all just for testing I mean I'm not doing this for anyone this is not something that's gonna be used but we'll see I basically just want to check the stroke of the auto feed and see if she'll go from one port to the one over there on a 8-valve Volkswagen manifold, just out of curiosity, but we'll see how she does. Naturally, when you put this on the head, you want the flat of the head to be flat with that gasket. And there's many ways you could flatten that, but cast iron manifold, so setting it up on this automatic feed surface grinder just seems like a good idea. Taking about two thousandths right there. And this is an oldie goldie here. She's got some leather belts running the auto feed system. So as you can see, it's a wonder if it works at all. The setup's pretty terrible. You shouldn't use aluminum blocks, but the trapezoidal flange was positioned in such a way that I had very few options on tying it down, so I had to go that route, but it seems to be holding pretty good, and, you know, it's, it's flat off the back sides of the flanges. Probably, you know, not the best way to hold it down. Could have machined bosses 
to stick out with like a little pilot to stick in there and probably balanced it on all four corners or something. Might have had a better result. But it's going to be flat. Which is the whole purpose of this machine.